guys how often do you hear the famous statement forgive and forget and how is it for you is it independent is it subjective or what do you think leave your comment in the comment section what you think about forgive and forget but we're not talking about that in today's video <laughs> Hi guys, you're so welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Nessa and I'm so glad to have you here with me. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to forgive people easily. If you're struggling with forgiving people, these are the two powerful things that you should try and you should practice. That's going to help you. If you're not subscribed, this is the point where you subscribe. And I know, I know, I know that forgiveness is not easy. It's not easy in any way, in any form. It's subjective to um people you know like i i'm you might do something to me and i might forgive you easily i might take it as like something which is not that solid and you might do the same thing to somebody the person will take it on a different level forgiveness is on different levels for different people and it's understandable okay but the root of the matter is eventually we must learn to forgive eventually we must forgive each other when the bible has said that Forgive your neighbor your, their trespasses as the Lord forgives you your trespasses. It's in Matthew, our Father who was in heaven, the Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. This is in heaven. Give us if they are daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So we are telling God to forgive you, but you are forgiving your neighbor their trespasses. So you've already been saying this prayer long ago. So you have no option than to forgive your neighbor, whether you like it or not, supposed to forgive your neighbor. And one of the major things that has to do with easing you into forgiving people is to realize the benefits of forgiving people. No matter how hard it is, yes, I don't know, somebody that's gone, you're going to kill your family member out of nothing because the person wants money. The same way that you feel that someone killing somebody is the end of it, somebody has also done something to somebody that person has thought that's the end of it. Like, how can I forgive this person? We all have something that we are saying to ourselves. How can I possibly bring myself to forgive this person? But then eventually we have to forgive the person. It is become to understanding that forgiving someone is for our own benefit, then it is very easy for us to forgive the person. For if we do not forgive people, we build resentment. We, we build an anger in our hearts. Even the Bible says that if you are going to give an offering and you have an argument with your neighbor or you are not in good terms with your neighbor, you should go and settle it before you bring the offering. So that shows the importance of forgiving our neighbor. And when we forgive, there is a burden that is that is taken away from us. So unforgiveness is like a burden. Unforgiveness is like a like a load. It's like carrying the person's problem and trouble over your head you know when you actually when you're fighting with somebody it can even be your sibling like when i'm fighting with my sibling like this and like i'm still in the angry mood and she's even doing something i'm just looking at her and like i'm just angry and you can feel that like there's some heaviness there's some heaviness and that's how unforgiveness is you do not forgive people there's still that load you might you might think that oh because you're not forgiving the person like the person is, is suffering but in the end it is we that suffer, we that have not forgiven them that suffer. And the funny thing is sometimes the person that you are holding a grudge against, the person that you have not forgiven, is not even aware that you've not even forgiven the person. The person is just like living their life and is not burdened. But you who have not forgiven the person is now suffering, carrying that burden of unforgiveness. And that's not even good for yourself, for your health, for anybody. They will not necessarily forgive because the person has come to apologize or the person has come to say he's sorry, he's changed, she's sorry, she's changed, she'll not do that again. The person has come to appease you. No, we do not forgive people because of that. We forgive them because of our own burden. We forgive them because we do not want to burden ourselves. We forgive them because we do not want to keep resentment in that. We forgive them because we do not want to become better. With them. Unforgiveness can make you better. And when you have unforgiveness, a lot of times it blocks a lot of things in your life. A lot of times you are not able to see things as they are you know even even able to see the goodness in people because sometimes they are human before people okay so i've been good to you all my life then one day i do something very serious and then it really hurts your feelings and because you're not forgiving me all the good things that i i need you can't have access to it again because you're not forgiving me so we cannot have a relationship again so it's difficult for you to even see me for the good thing that is in me and that is one thing that unforgiveness can do. So if you come to a realization that forgiving is more beneficial than unforgiving, 
then no matter how difficult it is to forgive, we put ourselves in a position to forgive. We go through the process and give ourselves time to forgive. And nobody is saying that immediately someone offends you, immediately you forgive the person because however the person offends you, you are also in level. Somebody has killed someone's mother out of jealousy, out of anger. And the amount of strength or the heart the person needs to forgive the person is not the same as you came to steal my money or you you're a fraud person, you defrauded me. It's not on the same level. And again, it's not the same people. We all have different ways of taking things. The one whose money has been stolen might even end up taking it deeper than the person that the a parent or a family member was killed. We are all different. But once we make up our mind that we are ready to forgive the person, no matter how long it is, no matter how hard it is, then it is easy for us to forgive the person. Also, the last but not the least one is make excuses for those who have faulted us. It's something that I always practice. I practice a lot of times. Whenever someone offends me, whenever um, someone does something that really offends me, one of the things that I try to do is find excuses for them. Not find excuses for them because whatever they did was right. No, no, no. Find excuses for them because I have to forgive them. Like I have no choice than to forgive them because I don't want to carry any burden. I don't want to carry any, I don't, I don't want to be a bitter person. I don't want to carry resentment in me. I do not want to be hostile as a person. So I have to forgive them. Maybe the person doesn't know better because you don't know God, so you came to rob me. But because you don't fear God, you came to rob me, okay? I forgive you. I'm not going to accuse myself, but like I'm just trying to find excuses for the person. So, so that's easy for me to ease in because I was not in their situation and then we all we had different different situations, okay? Maybe when I'm angry, I'll never take a knife, I'll never hit somebody. But the person will actually hit somebody, the person will actually take a knife. And even though it's a bad thing, but we are all going to have in a different environment, a lot of factors contribute to that. And this is not to say that however they behave is right, you know. But it's just that they have, the thing has already happened. Whatever happened that has brought the situation where someone has to forgive somebody it has already happened. It's not like it's about to happen. It has already happened. So then what do you have to do? You have to eventually forgive the person. And if someone, let's say, killed somebody, the person has already killed somebody. It's wickedness, of course, in this time. The person has already killed somebody. What can I do? Just have to forgive the person. Maybe the person is just being used by the devil. That's another excuse. <laughs> okay? But we also we have to eventually learn to forgive people. So share with me guys how you go about forgiving people. These are the two great things that have actually helped me in forgiving people easily. And in many ways, it really does especially finding excuses for them for the people that offend you. Because human humans will keep offending you and you will keep forgiving. The Bible even say when someone asks Jesus, how many times should we forgive our neighbor? And Jesus was like forgive the person 70 times seven times it means like we have to forgive people all the time we forgive people every second every millisecond every minute every day forgive people forgiveness should be part of our life forgiveness should be the food that we eat it should be the water that we drink so if then how do you maneuver thank you guys for watching today's video please share with me some of the ways that you are able to forgive people is the comment below if you've been trying this too and it's been working for you see you guys in another episode love peace and joy bye